Hello everyone, Jeff and Derek here with A Taste for Whiskey and we're partnering with Indiana Liquor Group for another great month of tastings and we want to get you a good review today as we've got some things coming out of the Spirits of French Lake. You know, I've heard about these, um, haven't had them, but first thing I notice is they look like they're Eagle Rare bottles, so they've got to be good, right? That's exactly right. I'm thinking Spirits of French Lake, just the name alone is going to, it makes me want to want to dive right into there. Let's do it. Um, so I want to talk to you a little bit about this great distillery out of Indiana. Um, it's The first one we're going to try is this Lee Sinclair Bottled and Bond. This is actually a mash bill of 60% corn, 17% wheat. We've got 13% oat. Oats! We got oats and a bourbon here, folks. We got 10% caramel malt. And uh, actually they use two distinct yeast strains as well. So they're doing some really cool mad science kind of stuff out of French Lick. And I actually, I just like saying French Lick anyway. <laughs> well, why not, right? But this, this distill, if you get a chance to go on their website, definitely spend some time checking this out because there is some really, they've got some great information. I love their stories. Bottled and, and Bond. Bottled and Bond. It's going to be a four year, 100 proof. And they actually use a number two char. So it's not even a heavily charred barrel that they're using. So there is just some love, there's some passion, there's some really cool things going on and how they really just, they wanna create a different product, but a, a product that's what I call a well above average. Do they have an age statement on these? Uh, four years. Four years? It's gonna be a four year, 100 proof. That's good color. Four, four grain year. using oats. It is, it really is. And um, I've, I've had Lee Sinclair before and I'm just a big fan, and so I'm really excited to kind of get back into this and kind of review this with you. Yeah. And this is your first time. It is, <laughs> and that, that's been happening a lot lately, which I love, right? Because, you know, I, I want to try it all. Once you've had one, you want to try all of them. You want to try right? something that's different, that's say, right. Yeah. I, I like this guy on the front. It's a very, like, I mean, the bottle looks... It's like it's expensive and it's going to taste really good. The, I mean, the labeling on this is just beautiful. I mean, it, yeah. and they got a lot of cool information on there, don't they? Uh, let's see where the nose is going to take us. Oh man, I I really like the nose on this because it's just different, you know. So yeah, so I do get notes of that. So there's that caramel, you know, caramel malt. Is going to have more. It, the idea behind that is to pull more sweet notes out of the malty, you know, out of that malt. And then the thirteen, the oat. I have no idea. I yeah. have no idea. <laughs> there's a, there's a lot in this nose. And yeah. What do you want to find? You can just. It's one of those. It's. You can just search for whatever you want. It, I can. We could probably spend an entire video just talking about the nose on this, I think, you know, Walnuts? it's just I don't so, even know what. oh, I agree. Uh, there's definitely some, so I do get a little bit of notes of the honey that's coming through there yeah. and, and, and maybe a little bit of the nutmeg. I'm, I am finding those in there, but I'm also finding some more of those kind of classic bourbon notes. I am pulling out some caramel. Are you? Yeah, those are there, but those, those are there, it, the caramel, maybe even butterscotch, but there's, there's really some. I'm just other. jumping past that and trying to get to all the other good the, stuff. The cool in the back stuff. Of the glass. The, the stuff that isn't in a lot of other versions. Oh, yeah. The, there is a walnut. Walnut? You know? Yes. Is it leather in there, too? I mean, it's just. It's, this is that's great. Fantastic. Note. Four year, 100 proof. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's, 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 try, let's try it. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, yeah, that's just it's developing. Mm. So I really want to keep this in my mouth for a little while because I think the longer that you do, there's just so much flavor coming through there. And I really think as a bourbon geek, <laughs> I think you just kind of want to pick it apart as you're going through it. Yeah. And there is really, it's really rich. I say that a lot and I hate to, I hate to use that term, but I, what I like about that, and the reason I say that is, is because it, it, I feel like you can pull so many flavors out of that. So you just start to go to the experience. Yeah, absolutely. Like the, the richness and the, the balance. Oh, yeah. You know, it's, it's hitting, it's hitting all the way through. There's, it's not leaving, you know, anywhere that 
No part of your palate is untouched. I think it's 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 very round. The caramel is coming is definitely there, but Derek, this reminds me of a dessert. This is like a the whole package is like a dessert. Yeah, this is this yeah, is like this a is, share box. Yeah, this isn't the ones that you just. I mean, you can just sit and drink on your own, but these are. This is like a share bottle. Yeah, this is going to be one. I and just the look, you know, you have a friend come over, you're going to sit this down on the table as they enter in. You got this nice label, a very nice presentation, and then you're going to hit them with some very nice whiskey inside that bottle as well. Yeah, you see, you see this right here, and let me have a pour of that. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing you think. Mm. So mm. What, what's a, what's a little bit of difference in these? I'm still enjoying this. <laughs> I, I, know, I know, right? But we don't that wanna, is so good. We don't want to keep everybody here all so, night. So, yeah, I can spend a lot of time. But let's go to the uh, the Maddie Gladden bottle and bond. Maddie this is Gladden. also a four year, and the Maddie Gladden great story. You, you you need to read the back of the bottle. Also, again, go to the web page and check out their stories. They got some great stories on each of these bottles. But the Maddie Gladden bottle and bond. Uh, 100 proof, four year, so that's that's your minimum to be bottled in a bond. So the mash bill on this, 55% corn, we've got 35% rye, and we're gonna be at a 10% victory malt. I don't have any idea what victory so malt is. So victory malt is, you have malt and then you have victory malt, and victory malt beat out regular malt, so it's the victory. It's, it's the one that wins, right? It's pretty much. <laughs> So, again, they use two different yeast strains, and, and there is a lot of science. I, I bring this up again because both of their products uses a lot of science. Uh, Fred Minnick, who's not afraid to put down a distillery or a brand, and he yeah. loves he loves the bottles. He loves everything coming out of the spirits of French Lick. So, th that right there tells you something. Is he getting the same tasting notes we are I hope I hope so right I hope he knows what but I think that and they use a lower entry proof on this so you're gonna have a high rye but they're gonna have a, the lower entry proof on this is gonna go in the barrel at 105 so it's a really low entry proof yeah. so they really want to pull out the, they really want to pull out the notes of the grain at the same time they want to pull out the notes that's coming through the barrel as well so they don't want that high they don't want to go in at a high um, alcohol proof because they want to really focus on both the grain and the barrel. I think it's cool. I think it's really cool. Yeah. So again, a number is this two char craft. Sorry. Yeah, absolutely. This is definitely craft. Absolutely right? yeah. craft. And 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 boy, what a craft they're doing. You're not getting this a lot of places, are you? No. So this one here, I'm really getting fruit. Oh, I'm getting a really good fruit coming coming through on this. Um, with that light, low, lighter fruit, lighter fruit, not, low, not the dark. No, very fruit. no, not at all. Uh, so that number two char, really, I think they utilize the character of the grain, Derek, with a, with a lower char as well. Yeah, don't don't. No, I like dark notes mm -hmm. in in bourbon. I, you know, I like when it hits that coffee chocolate. But if you've got something good enough that you can just give it a two and let those flavors speak for themselves. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and I, and I think the thing is is I think it really does pull out more. Even with a spicy rye, 35% rye is no joke. But this... I almost forgot you said that it was that yeah. kind of rye on the nose. Um, I'm getting some apple. I'm really getting some of that apple come through. Um, Pear. But this is what's really weird. And this is what I got um, when I tried this one other time. I, I know I keep talking about the nose here, but there's so much. And that is there's a little bit of coffee and tobacco just in the very back of the glass. It's really, really cool. So on, on, in, in the midst of the fruit, you're kind of going into the darker side of the, the coffee and the tobacco notes. <laughs> There's a shell lot going on. It's crazy. But that's what you, you know, that's what you want. You want to, Absolutely. you want to explore. You want them to develop in the glass. You want to take your time and just, just really dig into them and enjoy them. Absolutely, right? I agree. Well, let's, let's yeah, dive into this. Cheers, cheers folks. So, yeah. so it's coffee. I'm getting coffee and tobacco. And it's, it tasted darker than what yes. the nose. Yes. There's, um, 
there's a there's like a walnut there's that walnut finish really kicking through on this um there's a there's some there's that there's a that, like coffee coffee grounds coffee grounds yeah. yeah um and some and tobacco like when you open up a tobacco and that, that what you expect that would taste like copenhagen <laughs> copenhagen folks I'll tell you my personal review on these. I really like these for a four-year, hundred proof. These are excellent bottles. Um, yeah. I, I love this. I, I love what they're doing down in Southern Indiana, um, and you can't go wrong with either one of these bottles. Do you, do you feel that yeah, way? Yeah, I'm a fan. Big fan. So, it folks, takes one shot. I'm, yeah, I'm, in, right. I'm in. You're I'm in. in. That's it. I'm in. So we're going to be t sampling these along with the Rebel Yell and the. Um, uh, Ezra Brooks and the Oak at Eden. So come out to our tasting events. We got a lot going on. We got a lot to try and I'm sure you're going to find something you're going to like. Cheers. Cheers.